<clears throat> Previously. On. Well, I guess it is a nutshell of a campaign. I say that yes. every week. Mm, yeah. Uh, you guys. Uh, completed your business on the uh, on the mountain with with Stones's um, tribe. Uh, you retrieved another piece of the mysterious scroll thing. Um, let's see. Juliet had a tea outing with a, with a fiendish entity. Entity. Uh, Stones sees himself as a man, but still has to conquer magic. Uh, Dr. Cassius got high a couple times. And you guys fought off against the dreaded uh, Deep Drake, which you tossed down the mountain. Quite hilarious. So, 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 so silly. Ah, oh, talking. <laughs> yeah, and then you uh, went, got uh, down the mountain and decided to go around the town of Cobble Slate this time. <laughs> because people might be in trouble there. Yeah, we kind of showed them mercy. Just today. Sure. All right. Okay. Yeah. So mercy. Far too brave to grant you mercy. Uh, then you guys uh, went to sleep, and then the walk got high. He found mm -hmm. some marijuana and decided to start smoking. <laughs> somehow he found it I don't know how but he did um, and then suddenly it's almost like it's he he said it just kind of as a gag and then it became yeah. we, went, we went with it being canon yeah and and Stone pointed out there's more of it right there because they're all the natural 20 in my nature check <laughs> yeah pretty much and then suddenly ninjas appeared so we are in the middle of the night and we... I mean, they're not that great of ninjas if they just appear. No, no, they, they appeared around you. <laughs> Which we will go directly into that map. Huzzah. Oh, oh, ninjas. ninjas! Suddenly, ninjas! Suddenly, ninjas! Oh, okay, shit. I have to grab a couple things. Things... DM, can you delete? Can you delete this other token? Oh, I I can't put everyone. I can't. Uh, when you do that, though, we can't move it. Oh, At least really? I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately. Mine. Right. Yeah, I'm able to move mine. I just can't move mine. That's weird. How about Every everyone else? It. Can everyone move everyone else? I mean, I can move myself. Yeah, that's... I'm the only one that can't. What the fuck? Weird. Weird. Uh, DM, I I think I asked you last time, but I don't recognize these ninjas, right? Um, you're kind of high right now. <laughs> it's hard to tell because they're wearing masks because they're ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't really have any distinct uh, dis uh, distinguishing marks on them. Do they look? Uh, human or goblin esque? They look humanoid. Humanoid, okay. Yes. How, okay, what about size though? Are they medium or small? Um, let's go. Okay, so the four. Okay, so the four male ninjas, those are all medium size. Okay. And the female one. That one's a small size. Okay. How much? Okay, that's good enough. That's fine. I just realized if I can reproduce this psycho gas, I'll become 
Scarecrow from Batman. Yes, you would be! Holy yes, shit! Hmm. That'd be funny as hell. It actually would fit your character. Fantastic. In a way. <laughs> so, the four male ninjas, they do all... They do their poses. And then the female ninja jumps down. Does like a three-point stance. Because you gotta look super cool as ninjas. And she stands up. And she puts a hand up. And then the other ninjas stop doing their poses. She takes a look at you. Um, I give her a bow without ever lowering my eyes. She gives like one of those like I don't know how else to describe the the bow thing, like the bow thing, but using only the hands, sort of thing. Right, that's kind of how I was doing. Yeah. Uh, so she reciprocates, and the pose that she does does look familiar. I am Dwok Druk, recent graduate of the Shadow Strike Monastery. Ah, yes. Dwok. Dwok of Ozog, is it? That name is very familiar to you. That is the name of your master. Yes, Ozog. Yes. <laughs> He's. Uh, she takes a step closer to you and she goes he's told me a lot about you how you left wait he lives oh yes it appears that you've didn't complete your objective fully. Quite a shame, actually. Well, actually, not really much of a shame. Because of your half-assed uh, ascension, he's been able to rise uh, in the ranks of his... of the... Um, shoot. Mm. Of the elders. Is he on the council? Oh, yes. And he is very interested in you. He wants to see you again. Back at the monastery. Well, I suppose I didn't finish my job. No, you didn't. So you have two options, of course. Uh, she kind of shrugs. You can go back, finish the job, probably get killed in the process, or... run away again and we'll have to find you and we'll have to kill you. You can resist and we'll just kill you anyway. You're here to collect me? If necessary. Mainly just to send the message. But, of course, if... If you, you know, decide to fight us and all that stuff, it's going to get very messy and all that stuff. And, like I said, we'll just have to kill you. Well, if Ozog lives, I will kill him. There's no need to bring me back by force. Excellent. We'll be watching you. Uh, by the way, I did an insight on her. Did I oh. determine... Insight. Uh, let's see... 
I was mainly doing it on when she said that he lives. Okay. Yeah, she seems truthful in that. Well. You can send a message. Tell him that his former slave is coming to finish the job. Good. Very good. Again, we'll be watching to make sure you actually show up. <laughs> she turns around. Kind of does a flick of the wrist up in the air. And all the other ninjas jump up and disappear. And then she takes another step, turns around back at you. Does that little bow thing. I didn't get your name. Oh, my name. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Is she speaking in Goblin to me, by the way? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, her name is... Uh, Eliza. Okay. I am Eliza. Are you his of name? Ozog? Ah, uh, of course. I suppose I'll have to kill you before him. Perhaps. Because well, when you left. All of his attention was turned to me. So. I look forward to meeting you in combat. And I, you. May it be glorious. And then she jumps up and disappears. Foo, 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 foo. Foo, foo. Uh, so, you are in darkness again. Mm hmm Everything seems quiet. Curiosity, is this while we were all sleeping? Yes, it's because you were all sleeping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, figured. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing, too, but I think it was going to happen after the scene. Uh, so, I'm, I'm on first watch, then. Uh, this is technically you're, you're second. On... Oh, yeah. second watch. Okay, I, I did. Yeah. I did first. You did second. Gotcha. 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 Okay. Uh, you know what? I guess uh, the only person who would have seen that would have been uh, Cassius. This is true. The Terminator. <laughs> so, you know what? I don't remember. Cassius, did I ever figure out that you are aware while you're doing your? You know what, I'm going to go up to Cassius and wave my hand in front of his face. I don't think he's back yet. Oh. Might be. Oh, yeah, he said be, be or AB bathroom. Okay. <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> that was five minutes ago. Oh, okay. Uh, so, he's, I... he's standing there, or he's sitting there. His eyes are, like, pulsating, and, you know, he's just sitting there. Slowly going. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds about right, yeah. Uh, I'll wake up Juliet and say, uh, What? Uh, it's your turn. There's a pretty uneventful watch. <laughs> <laughs> mm, just for shits and giggles, I'll inside it. I was about yeah. to roll a deception anyways. Duwok's got a lie. <laughs> Duwok. Nice. Ooh. The, the fact that you naturally are just like, yeah, I was rolling deception anyways. Oh, eight. Uh, oh, you, close. you beat me by one, so. Oh, oh. Yeah, it well. seems, seems. Seems legit. <laughs> seems legit. He's really never really lied to you before. Uh, I, also, I will say. 
The trees have shadows that are deceptive. Pay no mind to them. Good to know. I'll sit down next to Cassius and just keep a lookout. Because I assume I can also see out the back of the cart. There's not like a shot, like a, I guess a drape. Um, like, yeah. Like most carts. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. I'll take a yeah, you can give me perception. <laughs> yes. Perception yawn. Fifteen. Okay. Good. Um let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Do you see what I see? Which no. is all the pain and misery about to happen? No. No, I mean... <laughs> Do I see all of the rattling of bones as wolves show up? Probably not. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, I don't want to use that. I had a really rough day today, so let's take a look. <laughs> what should I kill you with today? It's one of those days, huh? Why do I smell a Tarask about the nom nom on some metal bones? <laughs> uh, Why a Tarask? No. Because, because that's it's like the biggest the ramp big monster. <laughs> you would have heard that by now. Yeah, yeah a... you would have. Well, actually, Tarrasque has burrow speed, so if it's underground, we may not have it. That's fair. Yeah. Maybe we would have felt an earthquake or something, though. Uh, imagine history, natural 20. What is this, a worm? Juliet just sighs. Uh, no, it's much worse. What? It's a Tarrasque. A what? <laughs> oh, no, actually, they has, he has burrow speed and earth glide, so he would not cause <laughs> earthquakes uh, when he moves. Oh. Oh, that's oh, cool. Shit. That's terrifying. You know what? I think I will use this after all. We need a bigger carriage. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, Juliet, there is some rustling in the trees. Hmm. There's quite a few trees. Can I pinpoint? Ah, uh, yeah. It seems to be coming from, whoops, over here. Oh, how quiet. Hmm. Probably no, but I'll ask anyways. Can I tell? Have I heard this a, a s amount of rustling? Can I tell if it's, you know, some like four legged beast, you know, size, or is it going to be a little bit larger? Uh, well, you can give me a nate. Wait, um, yeah, knowledge of nature. Knowledge nature. of nature. Nature check. I, I probably won't get. Yeah. Ah, no. no, it was like, uh, it has legs. <laughs> well, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Fireball in that general direction. What? <laughs> Shoot a fireball. Okay. <laughs> better safe than sorry. Bam. <laughs> okay. Oh, big sad. That would have been terrifying to no track. It would have been. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking of. I must have been thinking of one of the, the big worms or something. Probably one of the big worms. Okay, purple worm! Yep. Okay, so let's see. Dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Alright. Are so... you actually committing to that? That that wakes us all up. Yeah, that does. <laughs> uh... Everyone gets woken up by the damn fireball. Cassius just watches Juliet launch a fireball at a tree and just... <laughs> I wake up and, like, immediately grab my fucking maul and have my maul in my hands. Uh, uh, let's see. Shoti, uh, you don't speak uh, goblin, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> so you saw me talking to the ninjas, and then they went away, but we were speaking goblin the whole time. Because you have, like, your sentries rest and still have consciousness yes. while doing it. I had to AFK. It was taco night. 
I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. But that that's what happened during my watch. It's now Juliet's watch and she just threw a fireball up into the trees. Yeah. <laughs> well, wakes us all the fuck up because it's a big boom. Um, yeah, I assume if you if you turn towards the sound of the boom, you'll see Julia, who is just holding her fingers in a in a general direction of where she threw the fireball at, just holding it, yeah, running over. So, <laughs> the uh, fireball goes off and something falls from the tree. Uh, let's see. I don't. Let me see if I have anything relevant to use here because I didn't actually upload <laughs> this. Cause... Congratu congratulations, Juliet. You just deep roasted a freaking bird. Uh, let's see here. What and probably I, started up. Can I use. And uh, probably started a black wildfire. Oh, uh, no. Is... Fireballs don't actually catch things on fire. They oh, do. That, that's... They do. Mm. Yeah. They do. It says it in the spell, I believe. It does. Yeah. Oh, do, did they add it, that then? Is it, it does. Because it used it, to not be able to. Here, it does, though. Here. Uh, I'll read mine. The fire smith rock quarters. It ignites flammable objects in the area that are being Army Warner carried. Yeah. I just started a... I probably just started a forest fire, and the fire is black as shadow, and you're just like, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to use that as reference. Uh-huh. Um, basically, it's, it's a very pale centipede sort of creature. Medium size. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, it does fall from the tree. And... Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I can do that. Let me just look that up real fast, because that might be important. Oh <laughs> boy, you're in trouble now. <laughs> now you effed up. <laughs> uh, let's see. There it is. Uh, okay, that's cool. All right, you move there. Um. Well, okay. Well, I guess it's time to roll initiative. Ha ha ha. I do believe so. Yeah, yo. Damn. What is that thing? It's a pale centipede. That it's just supposed got, to be pale, but... That just yeah. got crisp. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, and it was living in the tree. Surprised uh, it's still fucking living. Um, Cassius needs to roll initiative. You got it. Uh, Terminator, roll if high. It's, if it's a bug thing... There might be more of them. Bugs tend to live in colonies. Not all bugs, but most. All right. This is running off the round. Juliet. Yes, is it still moving? Oh, yeah, it's still moving. First of all, magic missile. <laughs> All right, you throw a magic missile at it. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, let's see. Seven, ten damage. Okay. That's a me. <laughs> All right. Cassius. Is it still very much moving, or does it Oh, yeah, it's like... still very much moving. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so it's not, like, really hurt? No, not really. I mean, it's sh it's like... Shinned, not shinned, but singed. Man, I cannot speak today. Wow. Uh, from the fireball, but yeah. It's not very happy. Okay. Uh, then I'll try to melt it. Okay. Uh, let's see. 16. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah, that does hit. 
14 acid damage. And I'll, let's see if it's in range. Yeah, I'll send my little robot over and he'll give him a punch. Uh, 10 is not enough. No, that's not enough. Okay. Anything else? That's all I've got. Okay. It's... Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Well, that, well, let me just double check what kind of action that takes. Uh, let's see. Where is that? There it is. Uh, still one action. Okay. Cool. So it is going to. You want? Know yeah, it's going to come over here. First target it sees is uh, stones. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to try to hit stones. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> it's going to try to bite. Numb. But. It does nothing. It's like you dodge out of the way. It turns out that he's made of rock. Oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, something like that. Oh, well, Dwok. Okay. Oh. What the heck? <sighs> and I come running over to it. Wow. Yeah, that hits. Duaco Burr. Okay. Takes 10 damage. Uh, yep. Yeah, takes 7 more damage. Okay. And then, uh, Fury of Blows. Okay. Oh, oh. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, twelve oh, damage. Nice. Damn. Okay, and then, wow, you're. This AC is not good enough. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> this is Duwak we're talking about. He only rolls high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I okay. say. Uh, I say. Oh, this will be a great breakfast. <laughs> you hear in your head, yes, it will be for me. Wait. Who said that? <laughs> I like... Little, centi little centipede noises. I'm going to look around and be like, what the... Because I, I, it doesn't register to me that it, it, the centipede is talking to me in my brain. Yeah. Uh, don't use that. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Stones. I will rage. Like any, like a good barbarian. Eight. Bolt of light. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Iron Man time. <laughs> Okay. It's like a it's like a dull gray that shoots into him. Just I'll have him make the con save first before I actually do my force. Oh, wow. Four points of radiant damage, and no. it is blinded. Okay. Till the start of its next, till the start of your next turn, and um, I actually gotta put that in the spell thing. Um. Uh, and then I will make two attacks with advantage because it's blinded. Pew pew. Ooh. Oh Looks yeah, my they, rage they damage. Both hit. Okay, so so seven plus five plus two. I forgot to include my rage okay, damage. Okay, seven plus five. Okay, two. So fourteen plus. And okay, so that's twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two. Yeah. Yeah, because the second one's eighteen. Yep. Yum. 
All right. Um, I rage. I this did my rage weird. thing. And I did my attacks. And the thing is blinded. And I'm good. That's my turn. This is a weird question, but if we kill this thing, would Dwok want, like, a centipede tribal mask? <laughs> mm. Yo. <laughs> I mean, you could try. Uh, Juliet. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I think at this point I'll sit back and relax, and let's give haste to the monk. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. No love to me, man. I'm sad. I'm are you hate. are you serious? <laughs> I'm kidding. Of all the shit I did to you, Cassius. Dr. Cassius, you are up. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. Dr. Cassius, come on, it's time to protect the Arcana. <laughs> <sighs> what do I even start with? I don't know. Orange Jesus? <laughs> oh, wait, it's not a new day yet, and you've already used your two potions. <laughs> Where do you have that? I don't know. We've we've been traveling for a few days since we fought the spider time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had a couple of long rests. Yeah. So, what would you like to do? Okay, I'll have to do some measurements so I don't mess my group up. There we go. I'll have to drop it here. But uh, I'm going to do web, so deck save. Oh. Okay. I'll be sitting there thinking, what has that big of a radius? Surely oh. you can't fireball. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's a it, it's, cube. it's blind, so um, I guess a blind creature on it fails any ability check that requires sight. So it all depends if it has to use seeing to make a deck save. <clears throat> I don't think you have to use sight to make a deck save. Yeah, I okay. Anyway, so roll a four. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, so it's webbed. Good. It's webbed. It is restrained. Oh, that's yes, even it better. Is. Yeah, which makes Dwarf. this even more hilarious. Why? Because it chatters a little bit, and then poofs. Oh, I was telling my little robot to punch it while I was down, but. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well, that was, but, uh, okay. So it poofs. Ooh. Did it just teleport? Uh, no, it is gone. I'm just putting it here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it died. Nope. Well, no, it just no, poofed. it just disappeared. What? It's blinded. Um, okay. It's very show. important question: Is the cocoon that it was wrapped in? Still full, but looking empty? Yes. Well, there's your answer, guys. 
just like the hill. Uh, so then it's my turn. Uh, yes. Yeah, so advantage from restraint, disadvantage from invisibility, so just roll normally. And you are very hasty, so you have another, what, action and bonus action? I actually No, just I... action. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I knew haste wasn't that good, but it is still amazing. <laughs> I punched the cocoon. Okay, you punched the cocoon. A couple times. Poof, poof. Your hand seems to go through it. What the heck? Like Dude, it's hollow. Dude, what is this stuff all over my hand? <laughs> it melted. Gross. Um... Do we see it teleport or no? Not at all. We just saw it kind of disappear out you, of the cocoon. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you just see it go whoop. Hmm. But the cocoon is still there and in the same shape. <laughs> uh, also, Dwok, if you use everything on dashing, that's how fast you can run hasted. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go uh, fast. I'm going to move over to here then I'm going to move down here and I'm going to just run all the way around the tree basically Okay. to see if I can see anything shoot okay using a bonus action to dash because I don't think I'd make it with just uh, double movement Okay. Did I see it? Nope. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Stones. Let me make a perception check to see if I see it. Okay. It's a seven. No. I mean, there's a centipede-shaped cocoon that's kind of bashed in a little bit. I'll swing a hit on it. Actually, that was my action to use the perceive, right? Yeah. Bless the light. No rage damage, but just one point of radiant damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nothing. Nothing. Ugh. I still have my rage because I attack something. Mm. I'm going to kind of shout out, Where is it, everyone? Where's this thing at? And people poofed. <laughs> There's been a lot of that lately. It's, You're just, right. it's just flat out gone. Uh, Mr. Stones, Mr. Duwalk, get in the carriage. We'll just leave. All right. Well, we're still. You're still in, in initiative the, order. We're we're still in the middle of our rest too, right? Mm-hmm. And Juliet, Except we leave. Yeah. Eight. I'm. Eight. We're still in initiative order. Well, I know. I'll take my movement. Oh, okay. I still, had, I still didn't have my yeah, move. Okay. Got... I'm just making sure. <laughs> At 40 feet there. Okay. Oh. Um, well... You know what? I'll, I'll do the same. Perception. So, I don't see it, but do I see the cocoon still oddly in the shape? Yep. Yep. Um, but, like... To walk like punched through it chill yeah. touchy on the space okay and there's the damage okay do with, so do i think what you will with that <clears throat> i do believe I, I do believe that uh the webbing has a hit point total yeah it's like five isn't it yeah so your necrotic touch pretty much like dissolves it <laughs> hey <laughs> Hmm. I would maybe agree with Cassius. Time to leave. <laughs> Cassius. Uh, I will hold my action to tell the horses to go as soon as Dwok gets in. 
Okay. And we're back around. Fun times! Yay! Yeah, and if he comes after us once we Poof! start going, then we get to have a Matrix car chase. <laughs> and now it's gonna bite uh, Dwarf. Yeah, plus dude, AC! Damn it! You don't need gonna it. Try to bite Dwok. He's gonna try to. <laughs> I mean, you're like surprising him from invisibility. That's absolutely advantage. Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. It nice. ends his turn and it poops again. <laughs> <laughs> Dwok is your turn. <laughs> it's gone. I'm going to punch where it was. Okay. Uh, you punch the air. The air says ow. No, the you air didn't. is talking. No, and... <laughs> no, it didn't. You didn't hit anything. Uh... Not, nothing to say. <laughs> I love the fact that he just whiffs the air and then you hear ow and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, um, I guess those are technically both of my actions. Uh, but you have an extra one because it's haste. Oh, really? No, cause, oh, wait, you only get... Because perception <laughs> is an action, and then a, a strike is an action. Yeah, yeah. The, the strike is the attack I, action. Or I whatever. don't know why. I thought you had more than two actions. But I will bonus action dodge. <clears throat> okay. Okay, bonus action dodge. Uh, I I'm not going anywhere till I get my breakfast. <laughs> Shit. Stones. Stones looks to see if he sees it. No. I'm not that desperate for food. I can find food. The next morning. And then Stones... We'll just take his action or whatever bonus to just slump back and go to sleep. <laughs> Trying to sleep in the middle of the racket. Yeah. That sounds about right. Fuck this shit, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Stones is not in the mood to deal with that. The the the, the thing didn't um, even hit him. He's not pissed really. Alright. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, there's not much I can do. Um, I will, however, hold an action to respond the next time I see the centipede. Okay. And it will be to trigger this. Oh, that's a lot of words. Yes. Uh, let's see. The hound. Oh, because it can do the whole track. Track it down. Hidden enemies. It can track it, yeah. You can smell it, right? The hound, the hound just gets to know where it is on its turn. Oh yeah, you're right. I can smell you. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay. Automatically knows the location. Yeah, the start of its turn, but I cannot summon it until I see the target, so... Okay. It has to be a reaction. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. It's actually a perfect thing to use here. Yeah. Alright, Cassius. Well, clearly we're not leaving. Uh, I'll have my little robot dude fly over and put a potion into Dwok's mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take your medicine, Dwok. Uh, does Dwok accept? Yes. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, it's still polite just to ask. You are the most polite drugs dealer ever. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> like, the trope is like, scary drug dealer, but like, you don't make money being scary. Eh. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. business. <laughs> Cassius, professionals have standards. Uh, Ooh. it's bright yellow. Yep. So it's piss. <laughs> Was it? Uh, or it's Mountain Dew. For the next ten minutes, you have plus one to AC. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm unhittable. Because yeah, that means you have plus three to your base. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I took the dodge action. Oh at, God. The, at the start of each of your turns, you grow a beard made out of feathers. Uh, <laughs> and at the end of each of your turns, you sneeze and the feathers explode away from your face. <laughs> that is amazing. They don't cause any damage though, right? No. You just okay. grow a beard and lose it at the beginning and end of every turn. That means if this thing's just turning invisible, there's a chance you might see some feathers just get raked out of the air. Mm. No, it's a centipede. Never mind. That may or may. Yeah, no. Speaking of which. Whoops. Poof. Uh, in the responses, I'll go and just spawn the wolf right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. She will hold her hand out in the same form as Iron Man does, and from her palm, a black void appears in her palm, and a a black figurine of shadow that is in the twisted and morphing figure of a hound just appears. Oof. Like oh, that? Shit. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, although I don't know how to roll that initiative. Because <laughs> ah. I have to have its own individual. I think, it, I think it goes immediately after you. No, it just rolls its own initiative. <laughs> well, it, well, it has a stat block, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's dire, in, dire it's stat dire blocks, block. yeah. With a few changes in the description of the okay. Ability. Well, initiative is just uh, if it doesn't have any additional thing, just do dex check. Yeah. Well, I mean to add it to your. Oh well, board. I can add that. That's not a problem. Oh, that's, oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. So roll one d twenty plus two for its dex. Nineteen. <laughs> Let's see and okay so then it will go right after you awesome. yeah oh yeah it uses the dire wolf okay yep okay the only difference is it has six hit point hit points <laughs> well it's gonna go ahead and try to bite to walk again it's got disadvantage From with uh, from dodge, dodge but it also oh. bounces out because you're attacking from stealth. True. Mm, yeah. Unless it's teleporting. If it's teleporting, it's not really from stealth. It's not teleporting per se. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. DM's discretion. <laughs> but okay, so it'll, I'll do it at disadvantage. That's fine. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go. I tried. Ah, nope. Cool. It's nineteen right now. Ah, Close. Because damn. of the potion and the haste. Yeah, because of the. All right. Let's see. Ah, damn. Can it do anything else? Uh. Nope. Okay. Let's go again. We poof. At the end of its turn, it poofs again. Um. Okay. Following Juliet's lead, I will hold my action for a grapple. Okay. Uh, 
And also bonus action dodge. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Stones. Just sitting there? Sleeping. Not even sitting. Okay, you're, okay you're asleep. Okay, good to know. Uh, Juliet. Um, Are you sleeping I too? Hold... What? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm in fact going to hold my action for a second level magic missile. Um, for the reaction of my wolf. Uh tracking and attacking to get a beat on the centipede. Okay. Wolfie, does it hold its action? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm? Oh, the wolf. Yeah, it's holding it... its action. Well, the wolf should know where the thing is, right? Yeah, the, the wolf oh. knows where yeah. it is. It, it tracks okay. moves and attacks. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> let me describe this. Okay. It's <sighs> there, but not there. Oh. Ethereal-ness. Then, yeah, it would, hold its ac- it would hold its action. <laughs> at, at best, the... Well, no... Because it can only move directly towards its target. Never mind. Yeah, it holds. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be jumping to the ethereal plane. Yep. Damn. So we'll all just have to hold actions to hit it when it pops up. That's Pretty much. Right. Nobody has fucking centipede too. None of the casters have uh, true sight, do they? No, we're not. That's that's too that's high of a level. Nowhere near us yeah. right now. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, no. I thought it was a lower end spell. I guess. No, not. it's a six level. The the best uh... the best thing we get at this level is see invisibility, which does not help. <laughs> oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, see invisibility does not see into the ethereal plane, but true sight. Yeah, no, it does not. <laughs> you know, I wish I was using my real dice for this fight because then I would hit you guys a whole lot more. <laughs> no, I don't want to get crit every single time. <laughs> He says real dice. What he means is trick dice. Yeah, my trick <laughs> dice. The the dice that I put out on the sun all summers just so I can get a better advantage. Where he waited, he waited the one so that it always rolls a twenty. <laughs> anyway, it's Cassius' turn. <laughs> Cassius, would you like to do something? Oh boy. All I can do is hold a spell to hit it when it pops up. Okay. So it poofs. Yeah. Poof. Dang. All right. Well, Everyone do out of range of the wolf. Yeah. My wolf. Yep. My wolf doesn't get the attack, but do I still get my second level magic missile? Yeah, you do. All right. The wolf uh, can move up and attack, even if it's holding it all. I mean, unless we're not ruling really that. Mm, I'll leave that up to the DM. Uh, it's a single action, not a single turn. Okay. Nice. Okay. Whoa. All right. Oh, so wait, let me yeah. resolve some of this. Okay. So six, yep. seven, eight, twelve. Okay. Do that. Stunning strike. Oh, wait, mm, no. I didn't need to one. do that. Huh? Uh, oh, do I need see. to? Hold on. No, 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 no. I was doing math wrong. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ray of Sickness. Yeah, that does hit. <laughs> wow. Ew. Horrible damage Ew. rolls. So all the response damage. So. 12, 18. 9, okay. Uh, 27? Okay. Uh, if it's still alive, whether it's going to bamf away or not, it'll have to con save to see if it's poisoned. Also, to see if it's stunned. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh, there, there's a stunning strike. Okay, there, there, there's the attack. Yeah, that just hit. Okay. So, okay. All right. So, time for some con saves. Okay, this is going to be against, first of all, the stunning strike. Okay. Uh, oh, Twelve. Wait. It's not a suit. It's not super high because my wisdom is low. Yeah. It, Ooh. It, it, it's stunned. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now time to see if it's poisoned. 
It is not poison. Where have you been? Nice. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> okay, so it's stunned. So it can't... It, okay, so it can't move. It can't attack. But let's see if it bamps out anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. It bamps. Wow. No. Damn it. Uh, that, it, uh, dude, this has to be Blink. It has to be. That's a funny mechanic. Yeah, because Blink awesome. makes you go away without any interaction from you, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's and it's also not concentration. And it's just random. Yeah, there, there are like, it's a. If I remember right, it's a roll of a d20. Ten or higher is ethereal plane. Nine or lower is staying on the material plane. If I remember right. Ah. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so... So he's stunned until the end of my next turn, which is about to happen. Which is right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the stunning strike didn't work. Uh, so I will hold an action again to attack. Okay. You're sleeping, Juliet. Yep. Um, I need to double check something just really quick. Ready a fireball. Uh, no, 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 no. I do I have high dex. Um, no, I was double checking something else. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I will hold my action. Uh, centered. Yeah, you know what? Centered on. Actually, wait. Let's be smart. Yeah, no, we're going to center it just a little bit behind. Yeah, so that way, yep, center it right here so it won't hit the cart or the horses. Uh, it's definitely going to be a fireball. I'll just do the thing now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that'll be it. <laughs> okay. Wolfie's um, turn. Given the wolf can't really track it right now can i just have the wolf sit beside me sure just yeah you know what oh that's Wolfie, right you tried your best it it goes uh, up on the cart and uh walks around in a circle a little bit before sitting down awesome <laughs> <laughs> all right that's it okay i love having a wolf <laughs> Cassius, do you want to do anything? I guess I'll hold a spell, but it's just going to be a first level this time. Okay. Alright, so it's going to poof back. Uh, it's going to poof here. Respond with fireball. Dwok, forgive me. Bam! <laughs> okay. So, ha ha, ha ha. Wait, do you have evasion? No. No, damn. Still have damage. <laughs> All right. So twenty damage. But okay. The good news, he fails. <laughs> yep, it failed. Yeah, it pops up. Big flash. Thump, and then Duwak, you go ahead and punch it in his mouth mandible stuff oh doesn't ha uh, haste give uh bonus to attack saves too i think yeah you have advantage wait no way you do is that why haste is so stupid yeah okay i have advantage so it doesn't uh, matter i would have passed advantage on deck saving throws additional attacks no no advantage on attacks no. advantage on deck saves right 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 right, right, right. All right. Oh, you said uh, a six oh. originally. So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? It's very good, but there are scenarios where it can also be a trap. Because, like, say if on your turn, you cast haste on someone, and then right when your turn ends, someone walks over, punches you in the face, and you failed the con save. Oh, yeah, then... You that... used your turn casting haste, so you didn't do anything. I had a buddy. Then haste ends, then they lose their turn because they were hasted. Oh yeah, that's true too. But I had a buddy. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll talk about this after oh. the combat. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, you punch it right in his mandible face, and it kind of, the it kind of goes up a little bit. It's like you do the uppercut thing. How about that? You uppercut it, and it flies back, and it falls to the ground dead. Oh! Does it disappear? No. Oh wait, actually, that's a very good question. <laughs> Uh, I'll give my oh, space. Because really... Blink technically stays on it even if it's dead, I believe. Until Blink ends. Okay, sure. Another 17. Goddamn. So we have to sit and watch it flicker like a bad <laughs> TV station? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So for the next 30 seconds, it like flickers in and out. Oh, wait, no. I have to... F okay, hold on. It has five more... Okay, so let's see. One, two. After two more. Three. Okay. All right, so it like flickers four out of the five next rounds. So, so this then, is a blink, blink centipede. And then it stops. Like a blink dog, but a centipede. Yeah. 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 Uh. Well, I drag it over to the cart, and I say, this will make a good breakfast. But for now, I'm going back to sleep. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Cassius. Maybe there's some uh, cool blinky stuff from this thing you can get that you can make a potion out of or something. Dear God. <laughs> I don't think Blink Potion is technically a thing, but that actually sounds cool. Where you just drink a potion I, and have Blink. I guess yeah, that be becomes cool. a question of, like, if there's, like, a Blink dog or a, uh, just really any creature that blinks and teleports. Is it an organ, or do they just have magic? I think Blink dog, it's it's magic, but it is it does come from... Uh... Hang on. I might be mixing them up with the cat thing that's also... Okay, uh, testing that out. Ignore that. <laughs> <clears throat> you just making a sunroof? <laughs> no, I was testing that out to see I, I get the, uh, the wording in there. Displacer Beast is the one I'm thinking of, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Displacer Beast, it comes from their tails, because they have, like, uh, four tails or something. And it's it's more of a, uh, uh, what's a mirror image than a Blink. Uh, blink Dog, I don't, th I think it's just innate magic they have. I don't know if it comes from an organ or not. But, so I guess it's up to the DM, really. Uh... But yeah, I will plan on eat chopping up the meat of this thing and eating it for breakfast. Okay. So yeah, the rest of the night goes without incident. The next morning, Stones would see that you've killed this thing. And then he'll say, Great work. I'm killing this thing. Yeah. I can, I can help you cook it. Okay. Uh... You know, him... Have you ever filleted an insect before? Probably once. You don't uh, come. You don't find big insects this far out. You find them deeper south. Uh, I get out my uh, knife and start cutting up. I assume it's softer on the bottom, like in the belly. Yeah. Uh, and I'll start cutting there. Cut all the legs off and throw them to the side. Like, we don't need those. Okay. Uh, and... The head... Zooming in on this thing, the head looks really interesting. It has, like, weird-looking eyes. Like... I mean, obviously, like, insects have weird-looking eyes, but this... The, the eyes on this thing look like... 
they look like eye stalks almost. Yeah. Which is kind of odd, but uh, yeah, I'll cut the head off and then I'll just look for meat around the belly and the and all the way back to the uh, to the tail. Those will carve like whatever muscle there is. Yeah, that's what I would be. That that's what I would think would be the best meat is all the muscle parts. I imagine it's like pale white, like crustacean meat. Yeah, maybe, probably. Maybe slightly cooked in. I mean, have y'all ever eaten scorpion IRL? No. No. It tastes a lot like crab. No, I haven't. Right? It really? tastes almost identical to crab. Shit, that's uh, cool. I've heard uh, spiders are the same. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes sense because they're like arachnids, right? Like, so. Yeah. But, yeah, like, scorpions, they look so much like crabs. Their claws taste just like crab claws. The tail uh, does taste a little bit different, it's a little bit sweeter. Uh, but it still tastes pretty good. Okay. So, you're, you're feasting on this, right? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna cook it first. Okay, yeah. So I'll make a little campfire, uh, once we get some good fillets out of I this get, thing, I'll start cooking them up. I'll get, like, um, some herbs and some, like, stuff to accent this. The headband into, like, really coming in. The chef is coming out. Had been had headband in chef coming out from uh, stones. He's gonna go get some garnish and shit to make this uh, taste really well. Cause he remembered he tried different com com uh, combinations, but never really remembered them. But now they're they're kind of all clicking in in his time in the in the forest here. So I don't know if that's uh, like nature per se, probably getting that <laughs> or um, I would get it, it would be more survive. Uh, Cooking would be more survival. Okay. What I'm guessing I don't need to really find any of the, the stuff because I get it with uh, my trait. But uh, yeah. if anything, the survival, I'll do that for cooking. Damn. Yeah, yeah you're roof. In the natural 20, that bitch. You're, you're doing really good on your cooking, cooking skills. Uh, but the leftover parts are basically going to be like the hard carapace. Any organs and the head and the legs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will, you know, I'll say to Cassius again, like, if you want to study this thing, feel free, but otherwise, I guess we'll just throw it all out. Uh, no, not quite right, Mr. Duak. I really don't care. Um, I mean, did you see the things it was doing, though? That's pretty crazy. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, Miss Duwak, I could make it into a mask for you, though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I look at the head of this thing. Oh, that would actually be awesome. Okay, look how many eyes it would look like I have. You're gonna look like those tribal crazies that I saw. A couple exactly. years ago. Everyone will think I'm a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I... I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Duwak, but I am sure that you do like disguising yourself. I'm not I too sure do. versed with a lot of words and everything. So what is a cannibal? Uh... Uh, you eat people like Mr. Duwak when you're a cannibal. Why eat people not when you that, can eat an Not animal. that he eats them, but that you would eat Mr. Duwak if you were a cannibal. Cannibals eat people, basically, is what he what he's trying to say. They're people that eat other people. And they don't eat other things besides people? Well, I, they probably do, but they, they do eat people as well. Those people are abominations and deserve death. Yeah. And I, like, slowly look over at Juliet... <laughs> I also, I mean, let's be real. It, like, it's not that complicated of a process. You're just pulling the head off, cleaning the meat out, and handing it to him. Uh, I believe, <laughs> just out of game, <laughs> this thing did talk to me through tele tele uh, telepathy. So, kind of, because this thing is intelligent, 
uh, yeah, we're kind of being cannibals now. <laughs> it's also funny because you probably ate its brains. No, I, I specifically did not eat any organs. Just, just, uh, just the muscly parts. Okay. So, okay. So, who's eating the creature? Uh, me and Stones are I, I yeah. definitely. Yeah. Okay. I need both of you to give me Constitution saving throws. Fuck me. Mm. Oh, bad. Wow. Hey. The worst. Y'all oh, match. All right. Well, I guess I won't need to be needing that anymore. <clears throat> so, yeah, you start eating it, and your stomach feels really bad. And then both of you start to vomit. You vomit up the the chunks that you've been eating and also some blood. Ugh. Uh, game turns. Ugh. You automatically fail your next saving throw in combat. Okay. Oh, that's great. Well, but uh, I'll put something to remind myself of that. You got to auto fail in your future. Uh, Juliet could just well. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe cooking this thing wasn't a great idea. Uh, Miss Stones, Mr. Well. Duwok, do you want to bite the proverbial bullet and we take care of that right now? Take, take care, care of what? what? Do we look sickly to you? You know, I've there's this thing that I've heard about that might help us in this situation. Uh, I think it's called I've Iver, Ivermectin? They use it on horses or something. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing. Never mind. Never mind. It's, a, it's nothing. It's a goblin thing. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> So does anybody want to do like a nature check to see what this thing was? <laughs> mm, I mean, not likely. I'll, I mean, I'll try. I'll do one. It would be the oh, smart wait, thing, but no. <laughs> okay. Not worth. Uh, okay. This is time. I mean. No. Okay. So, anyways, uh, to walk. After eating this nasty thing and then vomiting up blood, you do realize that this was a fate eater. A fate eater? Yes. Centipede. Oh. It's a centipede-like creature that's, like, super smart and highly toxic. Mmm. But that's about all you know about it. Sounds about right. So by toxic, you mean it has a bad attitude? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whatever uh. you want it to be. <laughs> uh, it's very you know what? Rude. I've never seen one of these, but I think I've heard of them. Uh, I think it's called a fate eater. Yeah, we yeah. shouldn't have eaten. We should not have eaten that. I know. I do feel weird now. I don't know. I'll just sleep it off. But uh, you know, I my stomach is empty now. Um, <laughs> I'll pull out a ration. In, and no, eat. don't don't eat those. Save those for dire circumstances i'll go get us some food okay off in the woods i go to get enough food for <laughs> five other people all right yeah you do you find real food this time and i <laughs> cook it bam is it is it bugs no it's like couple rabbits and a okay. deer. Okay, okay. And a centipede. <laughs> <laughs> another one pops out. Is, that, is it another pale one? <laughs> no. No, okay. it's not another centipede. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Would have been hilarious. Look, if there's anything I've learned from Naked and Afraid, it's eating <laughs> bugs is actually the smartest things, to, one of the smartest things to do when you're stranded in the wilderness. That's all I'm saying. 
Naked and afraid. Naked and afraid has taught you a lot, then. <laughs> I will get us actual food, and I cooked it up pretty well. And I serve it out to everyone who wants it this morning. Uh, I'll eat some, but like my stomach is not like great. I'll force yeah. myself to eat like a fair amount, but it's not like a full meal. Sounds mm. good. We'll, we'll we'll eat it. So he wants to have full strength for whatever the fuck we're doing today. Yeah. Oh, that would what be is interesting. The, what, is the, what is the objective today? What is our path? Well, we have to have a drive. I think we're heading to my old home. To a walk. There's something to challenge magic there. Uh, you could say that. What is your home? It's a monastery. What is a monastery? Uh, well, it's a place where people learn how to fight like I do. And also, there's a lot of meditating and... Uh... Why do you fight that way? Because it it you allows no me weapons. These are it, my weapons, and I look at my Stones, hands. It's because it makes him stronger than magic. Your uh... way, your way of fighting makes you stronger than magic. Um. Yes and no. See, there's this thing that we use called key. If we're able to focus it within ourselves and let it release through and I'll do like a couple of like punches in the air the art of martial combat I just try to mimic it mm. I don't feel different yeah, it takes takes a lot more than just, you know, it, it takes years of training. But so doing this training, you can be you become stronger than magic by well, channeling this key. In a way, key is magic, but it's a different type of magic. It's a magic that comes from within. Like me. Uh quite right, Mr. Stones. It's very much like your sensations. My magic. I have an understanding, Doctor, that this is magic at work in my body. My ideal with sensations was to pass me, the non-intellectual me. Are you... Are you familiar with the idea of a soul? I do not know the um, the term of it. How about ghosts my, my, or spirits? My, uh, spirits, yes. And my elders did talk about the soul, but I would never take practice in that. I hated my elders, and thus I hated the teachings that they brought upon. Souls and spirit was not, nothing I could get into. Well... <clears throat> Every living thing has a soul. I have a soul. Yes. And every soul has key. And through focusing the key, you can strengthen it and also release it. And to demonstrate uh, I will. Uh, cast silence on stones. I automatically fail. Oh, 
God damn it. Oh, true. <laughs> I did not mean to do it like that, but okay. Wait, is it a save? No, it's not a save thing, actually. Shit. Oh, you're right. It's not a save. Never yeah, mind. it's not a save. Yeah. Okay, good. Because I want you to fail at something. <laughs> <laughs> I, was walk I was expecting you to walk up and just studying strike me. That would have been funny as shit. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I was trying to like teach you about it without talking about violence. Because that would be another thing. Is like Even though my monastery would be extremely violent, like the idea of key is not inherently violent. Uh... And I'll say, see, I could focus key to mimic spells that a wizard or sorcerer might cast. But there's only certain spells I can I can mimic. And then I will drop the silence. Wait, you said that in the silence. No, I said I cast the <laughs> silence like around <laughs> around stones but like where i'm out of it right yeah but that means so that your words couldn't it. go in oh that's true <laughs> <laughs> so stones you see my mouth moving and then and then like i drop the silence and i'm like do you understand now wait i couldn't hear what you said Oh, right. Of, oh, God. Exactly, I saw, Mr. Stones. I, exactly. I saw you say something, and you waved your arms. But it's not like the wizards do. It was different. Yes, because... You see, by focusing my key, I can... basically mimic the spells... or a few select spells... that a sorcerer or wizard might be able to cast... But I do it through key instead of through the weave of magic. You are stronger than the weave that I've been reading about. Yes, but you also have to understand that the key is part of the weave. There's nothing that breaks off from the weave. Is there no way to become stronger than magic? If all magic just funnels in to different names, different cultures, different beliefs. Your key is a stand of magic. Strand. Yes, but so is your soul. So, um... So I must become stronger than my soul? So, because I was show T, I know there are things that exist outside of the weave. Mm. But what kind of fucking check would I make about that for Cassius? Arcana? Yeah, that would be Arcana, and that would be actually fairly high, because that's like... Is there yeah, because actually... that's Spell Plague shit. Oh, true, but there wasn't a lot of magic outside of the Um, game. Let's see here. Yeah, give me the Arcana check. Oh, no. Mm, I don't know. Oh, nice. It's... <laughs> Uh, Not... Mr. Stones, that sounds like some information you'd have to ask an expert on the subject. An expert of, uh, about what information? About the weave. I read it. I've been reading this book. I must find someone. But to... have you, you wish to know about what exists outside of it? Only an expert would know that. I only wish to become stronger than magic. This, if that means I must talk to an expert to understand the weave and become stronger than the weave itself. Erickson, I must. Erickson walks in with his book. Oh, you guys are talking about the weave? This book mentions the weave. What does it say? I'm going to incite him. I feel like he's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> he goes. You're full, you're full of shit, Erickson. No, I'm not. It says here that it, it's talking about the the spell that this whole thing is about. It says here one of the reasons why they never used it was that they were afraid that it would strain the weave too much. They are weak. In, in theory, of course. So, these people harness the weave. Oh, yes, very much so. 
became stronger than the weave. That is possible. But again, they never actually used, they never actually casted the spell that we're looking for. Because they were afraid it would strain the weave too much. Maybe even break it. Like I said in my prior statement, the people that wrote that book are weak. They need to figure out how to cast this spell. Stone says, your book on the weave talks anything about the soul and its connection to the weave? No, not yet. I have not gotten to that chapter. <laughs> Maybe you should skip ahead. No. I understand words now. There is no skip. There is no shortcuts in training. There are no shortcuts in goals. There are hard work, determination, effort, and money. <laughs> Why and endangering for... your friends. Why care uh, for such things like money? <laughs> because it's a shortcut. Mm. Uh, Why not? Why not just trade? Money seems no value. Just trade everything. The bookkeeper did not want my hide of deer, uh, so I killed her for this book. <laughs> Metallic coins are simpler to carry than cows. Cows build character. <laughs> Money does but not build character. Money just makes you... You can uh -oh. carry 3,000 gold. You cannot carry 3,000 cows. I can, and I will try. I have physically seen you fail at less. You know, last time we were in town, talking about trading, there was this kid, he had a cow, and he traded it to some crazy old man for some beans. <laughs> God. I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. Like, the cow is obviously worth way more than those beans. But, I don't know, maybe you're right, Stones. Maybe it's not worth as much as the money. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> I think the kid's I, name was Jack. I think I, I, I heard him I, say his name was Jack. I, can't I have remember. heard of these stories. Jack traded cow something, got beans, climbed, created beanstalk and climbed it to meet giants. And the giants what? ran off Jack. Yes. It's not something I have read, but it is something that has been told through different things. Stones, look, I got something to tell you. Giants don't exist. <laughs> giants don't exist. No, they're all, they're made up. It's just like a story they tell kids to scare them. I didn't think they did exist. I've not seen a man taller than me until I've met saying. until I've met that woman over there. <laughs> hmm. 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 Anyway, we should get going. This is a uh... Engaging conversation. There's yes, uh, some we people who are waiting for me. Erickson mm -hmm. might be on the right ball for going and finding the city and succeeding where these people have failed. And becoming stronger than magic is what we need to go for. Maybe I learn this key. Become stronger than that. But does that mean I have to defeat you and kill you, Duak? I do not want to. You are a brother of mine. <laughs> but if I must Stones. be part of the training to become stronger than magic, I shall. I hope you don't have to kill me, but 
I also am interested to see what happens when you find the, the paradox of your logic. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. Let's <laughs> get going. Yes, I checked that. <laughs> 19! Ooh. Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? What is the deeper meaning? Well, technically his soul is magic, so if he's going to destroy all magic, he would have to kill his soul. He's never said he wanted to destroy magic. He wants to become stronger than it, so that means he has oh. to become stronger than his soul, stronger than Key, stronger than Louise. But once you're stronger than your soul, your soul is literally stronger, and so you can't be stronger than your soul. He will try. <laughs> he could rip his soul out and become a lich. Oh, oh my god, no. he could rip his soul out, fight his soul versus himself, become stronger than it, and suck his soul back in, like... But... <laughs> to be a lich, he would, instead of being bound by his soul, he would be sound he bound by the lich He would have to be some magic. kind of melee lich with no spells. Well, it'd be a, a death knight, I guess. <laughs> Stones. <laughs> but it still would require magic to do that, and then, and also to keep him in that state of undeath. Uh, this is getting scary. Yes. Uh... Uh, I am curious about one thing, because I don't remember if we got to it, but over this course of time, uh, Julia will ugh, excuse me, uh, get the attention of Erickson, because uh, yeah. she wants to, uh, based on what we have so far for the, the spell scroll that we are piecing together, mm -hmm. the tome. Does it reference any history to what could be described if it has been attempted or used? Yeah, attempted to cast a spell once before at all. Or is it kind of just like, huh, all the information that possibly leads to this is redacted. Well, he goes, they I were mean, going to use it in the war, but they backed off from using it because they were afraid it would destroy the weave. Hmm. Very well. So there's no description of how it may or. And has like, been... there's okay. the, there's theories. The spell plague is public knowledge from when it happened because it affected everyone at that time. So, uh, you know, being afraid of fucking things up again, it makes sense. Well, but also we're not on Faerun, so the spell plague wasn't necessarily happening here. But there could be something similar. Mm -hmm. True. I mean, you go far back enough, I mean, you would probably run into something like that. Yep. A lot of th interesting things at play. If that book that Erickson, Erickson knows the language of, and that talks about this city practicing shit to be, you know, making the weave unstable, that's really interesting, though. It's still really cool. So, are we off again? Stones would continue reading. And actually, probably towards the end of this day, he'd fucking get to that chapter talking about souls. And then he'd be like, I see what you guys are talking about now. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go forward to the evening. Where? Uh, it's like, let's go back to the main world map just so we can get a little perspective where we're going so mm. we're going we're going to be down there uh the mountainside has uh turned back into forest area little valley and you do notice a clearing of some sort hmm. uh with like a almost like a stone arch that seems to be just plopped right in the middle of the field have i seen this before i've roamed the lands i don't know how, how 
far out traveled I've been in this area. So um, can you on that? Make a history check. Okay. Damn. Yeah, you've come across this thing before, but you've never actually interacted with it because... Uh, and you're, find it that interesting. <laughs> yeah, it, to you, it's just a random arch thing. Mm. Happens to have, like, a large crystal on the top of it. But, of course, that wouldn't really interest you all that much, seeing you're from, you know, the mountains, and weird stones are all over the place, and they they don't have monetary value. <laughs> <laughs> but it's made of stones. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take a stop. Um, I like, are we, is this the, the end of the day we see this or while we're traveling? Uh, it's while you're traveling. It's getting like into the evening, like late afternoon, off, early evening. I notice this and I get off the cart and go towards the stone arches. You know, I'll, I'll go and ask, um, History roll to see if I recall any cultures based around something like this for architecture. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You mean history? My histories are never good. Let's be honest. Lock yourself down. Eleven. This is what happens to you. Hey. Um. <laughs> several like different civilizations use arches. This is weird because it's out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. How quaint. As, as I get out, how far away are we from it? Mm, 150 feet. Um, I'll go over and start walking. Since it's getting to the time of day where we're thinking about finding the spot to rest, cause it's late, late afternoon, evening-ish, I'll just take the time to start walking over to these arches. Okay two things i'll call up the stones uh just don't touch or destroy him just yet i might have an idea and we'll poke erickson tome uh, random arch is in the middle of nowhere i see a connection uh maybe he goes through the book i'm just nothing i don't see anything nope. about weird arches damn i guess i'll join stones hop out As you approach the uh, archway, uh, there seems to be some sort of like glistening field that uh, is in like the center of the arch. Like the inter interior part of the arch has to have, I mean, not has to have, but is, has a like a, a glistening, almost water like texture to it. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'll do that. All right. Concentrated magic. Yeah, it is magic. Of all the people I would expect to be paranoid and casting a detect magic, I never thought a barbarian would be doing it. It's not like paranoia. It's purely just to get a look around. Uh, Here, it's That's more of a wizard thing to be paranoia and have detect magic. This is more of like... You know, Stones believe he, he will become stronger than magic, so he's just gonna make sure this is magic. I like well, the kind of, <laughs> wait, do I get a school, or is it hard to tell? Um, yeah, you do get a school. Let me look it up. Hold on, hold on, because I don't, I have not memorized the entire spell book and all their friggin' it's classes. It's weird that it, it describes this feature like that instead of just saying you can cast the tech magic a number of times equal to your. Uh, proficiency oh. bonus because okay. it's basically just the tech magic right yeah pretty yeah much. maybe a more. i guess i well i guess the tech I, magic does require concentration so this doesn't i think 10 minutes is too long for ritual casting of things in general <laughs> like, like <laughs> the purpose is like oh so that you don't do it in combat i'm like you could make the casting time two minutes and that would be covered I, I think it's also to uh, free up spell slots. Yeah. Because, like, in 3.5, uh, you would, you know, prepare a certain number of detect magics each day, you know. Right. And that could get in the way of fireballs. Mm-hmm. 
Um, anyways, but yeah, you do get a sense of conjuration from the archway. Conjuration. Mm -hmm. I got to that chapter in my book. Wait, I know this. Conjuration. Things come and go. And or bring forth. Hmm. I look at stones. Let's see if I go. And I'm like going to run into the center. Maul out and ready. Damn, he beat me. Okay. He beat me to the idea. Okay. You run toward the archway. Yep, towards and that spot that I sensed. You run through the archway. You're somewhere else. Everyone else... Uh, uh, oh no fucking way! Yes. Everyone. Did we just watch stones disappear. Stones disappeared. He ran into an arch and disappeared. We'll get to uh, you back. Well, but get back to stones in a little bit. So looks at the archway. Uh, looks back at the group. Miss you, Mister Duwak. I do believe it's time to go. <laughs> Hang on one sec. I shoot a dart into the archway. Oh no! Make an attack roll. I, okay. <laughs> Stone oh, just gets hit in the ass. Tink! Oh! Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. 20. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'll just roll a d3 here. Oh, no. Excellent. Okay. Um. Stones gets a dart in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So how much damage? Seven, Seven damage. Uh, that will hit. Damn, that's sixty HP now. Okay. Uh, I, I see my dart disappear. Right. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, hopefully it's safe. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it's most definitely safe. <laughs> and. I'll start running after stones and go through the arch. Okay. Looks at Cassius. Looks at Archway. Smirks and starts walking back to the cart. <laughs> okay. Uh, we start turning the cart around and begin to... <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> you all leave? Damn. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Do me and you walk in the other ones uh, are adventurous? <laughs> once, once the joke starts to wear off, I turn the cart back around, and I like. Does it look like the archway is wide enough for the cart to go through? Yes. Okay. Julia. I make. I make the horses go through. Cat fast. Yes. Okay. I make the horses oh, go through fast. Shit. Okay. Now we get back to stones. <laughs> this is before the dart. Okay. Stones. You run in through the archway. You're no longer in that field. You're more into like a... Well, actually into another field, but it looks different, obviously. Um, there, you know, there are waterfalls like surrounding the area. There's nice watery streams there are buildings um like stone buildings uh, curved buildings you know like domes and such uh, there's lots of trees lots of foliage and you run in with your mall and you're instantly greeted by two scantily clad elves uh one male one female with really lo loose um clothing and they put uh, flowers around your neck, like a luau, sort of like, you, like you're coming into Hawaii. And they go, "Welcome, friend. Welcome to paradise. This is paradise. Please, come with us. Relaxation awaits you, friend." I'm an insight check that it's flashbacks to the, to the <laughs> fucking clergy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Goddamn clergyman. He'll go along with this, but the first sight of bad shit, he's tossing one of the elves into another elf. So he'll go along with this shit. He'll put them all on his back, and then he'll be dragged along with these two elves. But like, these buildings look warped, and this area looks like a tranquil area. 
Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Very tranquil. There's like little butterflies flying around and all that stuff. And then it gets pinched in the ass. And then the then the dart comes. <laughs> what was in that? Oh my, my ass! I grabbed this dart. Oh no! Are you injured? I am all right. Please, please, you should see the the doctor right away. The doctor. He will he will treat your injuries post haste. Here in paradise, we do not. Uh, let's see. Pain is an afterthought. We only served for pleasures. And they lead you to a rather large building uh, with, there's like, I mean, inside there's people in lab coats. Oh, they're all elves. Everyone's an elf what, here. What, what are you people? Why are your ears pointy? Because I'm mm. guessing I've never seen an elf before, right? Mm, not really. Yeah. Um, let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, oh, man, I fucking love this game. Uh, oh, shoot. How did they respond to that, with what I said to them? Uh, let's see, what was... I said, what are you? Why do you have pointy ears? Uh... There we go. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Whatever, that wasn't helpful at all. Okay, I'll just use the English version. Um, we are the Elven tribe of Paradisium. Paradisium. So, the Elven tribe of Paradisium. Yes. And you live here. Yes, we live here for all eternity. And there are no others besides yourselves. Nothing to challenge this place and its tranquility. It is peace, quiet. Yes. We do... Uh, we do other things to keep us busy. We laugh. I was about to say. We play. We read books. We perform magic. We heal others. Magic. You perform magic. Ah, uh, Yes. Yes, we do. We are known for our magics. I'll have you know, elves. I'm trying to become stronger than magic. I must see your strongest magic user. Oh, in due time. But first, your injuries have to be mended. I have sustained worse and come out from... and come back from them. Uh, they continue to lead you. Oh, they're they're yeah. they're intent to heal your wounds. That's fine. I'll just let him take me. And he stones isn't going to challenge it. Duak, you show up in the same uh, field where another uh, pair of scantily clad elves are there too. One again, one male, one female. They put flower a ring of flowers around your neck and go, "Welcome to paradise, green friend." I think they're both ladies. That's fair. Uh, you know, because male yeah. elves can't grow beards and they're very pretty. Um, oh, hey. This is what I'm talking about. 
Here, you must you must be a traveler. Here. Uh, Here, have some uh, rest and relaxation in our city. What is this place? This is paradise. Uh, Here, come. Right. Come. That's his goal. <laughs> Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> so they lead you off into like a spa. This is a very Do, do I see stones at all? Um, yes, you do. They are, uh, he is being escorted by a couple other, what you recall, female elves. Because they're all Oh, female. Hang, hang on, guys. That guy's my friend. Hey, Stones! Do walk. Hey, uh. This place is awesome, huh? I have not met these creatures before. They talk about magic, healing, peace. They uh, lack a little bit of ambition. Disgusting. <laughs> hey, but I think these two chicks, you know, I think they're right. They want to get get busy with me. What does that mean? And I, my eyebrows waggle up and down. Uh. Stones, uh, let me ask you a question. You ever look at a, a female rock person and think, she looks nice? Yeah, Jade. Yeah, that's right, Jade. Jade was hot. Uh, you ever think about, like, Hugging and kissing on him or something? Mm. I thought about that, but then I thought of the, um... I then thought about how the village thought about me and thought that fantasy can never come to life. Uh, well... But I'm I a man now, so maybe I can become one. With I Jade. think these chicks here want to do that with us. I have no interest in them. Shoot yourselves. Uh, ladies, he doesn't seem interested in you, so if you want to come with us... And I put my arms around the two elves that are uh, escorting me. <laughs> you, you, you do so, but you're just, like, hugging around their thighs. Really. Right, right, right. Like... <laughs> well, again, that's, he's okay with that. <laughs> uh one of them uh one of them goes oh so you're into that yes we do that all the time over here too oh no nice you practice magic you laugh and play you have no ambition you people are sad I don't know. I think it's pretty ambitious to want to do nothing all day. <laughs> it is boring. It is not fulfilling. Oh, we fulfill ourselves every day. Every single day is a miracle. <laughs> and Dwok's head, it just keeps getting better every time they say something. <laughs> yep. I think we ought to go do some fulfilling right now. What do you two ladies think? <laughs> Jeez. at that point the cart rolls in uh, now the question is does Cassius stop when he notices everything 
Uh, I will repeat that when I go through it, I go through it with the horses at full speed. You go uh-huh. through it with the for- horses at full speed. The, uh... Hmm. Uh, you do pass two more elves that were at- attempting to put, um, you know, flowers on you. But then, as you uh, go bu- with... the go through your horses, you know, really, really fast. Um, a mage hand pops up and puts a thing of flowers over your neck. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. You're not getting away from the flowers. (laughs) You know what I'm thinking this is? Ever watch Percy Jackson, everyone? Uh, Oh, no, no. The very first one? No. No, no, no. (laughs) You know the, the casino where they eat the fucking lotus flowers and get stuck here? Stop. <laughs> what if that's this? Stop. <laughs> what? At least you know the reference, Psychotic. That's good. Well, it's also like in Pinocchio, the... Uh... Oh, yeah! Where they all fucking turn to jackasses in that yeah. one. Oh, I can't Jesus. remember what the island's called. It's like the island of something. I can't Mischief remember. or something? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So many I would say are we all jackasses, but I think we know the answer. <laughs> we are. Yeah, so um, you do, you rush by and the the sun is shining. There are roads to travel. The people are happy and laughing and you do uh, get closer to the rest of your party. <laughs> Yes, yes, this place is very tranquil and. And you were expecting a. Uh, a, a session. Uh, we have one of those coming up in about five minutes. We have that on the hour every hour. Who are they talking to? Sorry, Dion. Uh, talking to Dewok. Okay. Oh. Uh, great. Let's go get 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 ready then. Ah, yes, it is very fun with newcomers. And they lead you to a uh, what? How would I describe it? A giant pillow fort. Oh, oh this is this is uh this is perfect. <laughs> I want to do something, DM. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to use another magic awareness. Okay. Do I sense any magic or think the the whole place we're in is magic? Yeah, I haven't gotten the that whole, far in the book. The whole place is filled with magic. Wait a second. To walk taught me illusions. This could be an illusion. Because I'm looking around and seeing magic everywhere. But do I see it, like, go to a source? Um. Yes. Uh, there is a large... Uh, the tallest building of the city has this uh, around, like, a yellow crystal sort of thing. And it is enchanting. It's... it. I mean, it has magic, and it has... Um, sort of like enchantment and a little bit of transmutation attached to Ooh. it. Ooh. It's the, the two uh, ladies that are escorting me that are trying to get me to the doctor. I say, can I not go to the doctor, please? Are you sure? Yes, I'm all right. I actually want to go see that tower up there. Oh, you want to see, you want to see the mayor? Oh, that is wonderful. We love introducing new uh, guests to the mayor. Mayor is probably the strongest person here. Oh, he is the strongest and the most lovable and the happiest elf in all the land. You need to escort me or can I walk there? 
Oh, you can walk there freely. We... We... Uh, one of our principles is that we respect and encourage freedom. All right, then leave me just, be. Just one thing. Just uh, don't walk on the grass. I'm going to insight check that. Don't walk on the grass. What do they uh, mean by that? Uh, this is the first time you've uh, felt like stuff that isn't positive. Like the first negative feeling you've gotten Ooh. was from this thing. And then they what turn back with, to smiles. What is wrong with the grass? Oh, nothing's wrong with the grass. We have just one simple law. Just don't walk on the grass and everything will be fine. And they both smile big toothy grins. I typically don't see the need for such silliness. I don't bind myself with money. I don't care a lot of times what others think. But if it is the first time you've changed your expression in the past 20 minutes when I said, what's wrong with the grass? So I shall not step on your grass. It is sacred. Yes, it is very sacred. But I will go see the mayor. Please. As as you please. We do have an appointment to make. And they skip along. I go to the mayor. <laughs> I go to the mayor and I avoid the grass. Okay, let's go back to Cassius and... <laughs> Cassius and Juliet. Well, this place is very bright. I very assume happy. at some point we stopped the horses because we've made it through. Do you, or are we rally derbying through the entire? <laughs> I assume if I even chose to, you would attempt to stop me, so I stop anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you are when you do stop. You are greeted by two elves. They put an additional layo on you, so you have a second set of flowers around your neck. Uh, Erickson has one too, so. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. Just casually looks around. I assure you, nothing I didn't make could ever be paradise. <laughs> oh, so you're a tinkerer then? I, for one, have sampled many of the pleasures of the world. I'm sure that you would not be up to my standards. Oh, that does sound like a challenge. I love challenges. Here. Here. Perhaps you'd like to uh, take a tour of our lab. Yo, what? Uh, we have a tinkerer's lab. Right in town. Oh no. Uh, does it have assistants and servants? Uh, we have many assistants. We don't really care for servants all that much, but because everyone is free to do as they please, we have lots of assistants. Sorry. If you had to say the the nature of alignment of most of the people who live here what would they lean towards happiness <laughs> hmm yes i can see that uh, but of course I missed you there but is there anywhere you would prefer to go But of course, we do have one law that we must all abide by. Well, actually, two. One is... Be happy. Second of all, just please stay off the grass. 
Fuck, they didn't get pissy at me. I'm not happy. Uh, here's the thing. Stone is <laughs> quite neutral in your emotions. Julie, <laughs> Juliet is quite skulky right now. <laughs> so, yeah. The fact that they would get sassy with her about being happy. Accurate. <laughs> Uh, Miss Juliet, I do not trust this as far as I can throw it, but I am going to abuse it. Abuse is pleasure in a different perspective. Hmm. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm pretty sure we have some assistance that will take your quote-unquote abuse. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I do miss ask. Oh, I'm going to do human testing in this place. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's like, yes, uh, we're going there. I am heading straight to that lab. Okay. Yeah. Going to the lab. To, back to what I was going to ask. Yeah. Um, That second law, not stepping on the grass, is it sacred to your culture? You in could say way? that. Hmm. We, we try to have very simple laws. Because if you cannot uh, follow the, the simple ones, then people can't follow the complicated ones. So we just have the simple ones. Hmm, I see. That's accurate. Um, I must ask, though, uh, would you be able to tell me more of uh, why uh, grass would be, or the grass is sacred to your culture? I'm quite interested. Well, the grass is all around us. It's part of Mother Earth. It's not Earth, but, you know, it's... I don't want to call it the... It's... The grass is the lifeblood of Terra herself. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I, I see. Very well. That's... Yeah. Looks Erickson. He's uh, dumbfounded. Yeah, let's be careful about where we tread then. Um, you wouldn't happen to have libraries, would you? Oh, of course we do. We have vast libraries spanning thousands of years. Looks to Erickson with a massive grin. His jaw just drops. Want to do some research and a little... I suppose, curiosity looking? <laughs> he nods his head up and down really, really fast. Uh, I will be sure to collect uh, belongings and all that, and I suppose we will... Oh, watching the car. Yeah, it'll be fine. I will think... I will collect everything, take Erickson's hand, and go, well, let's find a library. Yoink! <laughs> Alright, you go to the library... Cassius goes to the lab. Duak, <laughs> you go to the love pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the love pen. And Stones, you go see the mayor. Yeah. Let's go back to Duak. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that you go to the pillow fort and you have a fantastic time. There were so many people there, and everyone was totally getting it on. Nice. Uh, I'm confused a little bit about uh, some of the women and their anatomy, but uh, for the most part, <laughs> I had a good time. Oh yeah, they're you know, everyone is pretty much pan at in this place, so. Everyone loves everyone. Um, yes. I mean, I'm down with it. It's no big deal. Uh, Dwok is... Uh, he's not uh, too picky. Uh, um, <sighs> At the end of the session, there is juice and sandwiches. Nice. I will chow down on some sandwiches. Okay, cool. Now, out of game, I was expecting some sort of charm effect. Did that not happen? 
Mm, we don't know. No, not okay. yet. All right. <laughs> I'm chowing down on sandwiches. Yeah. Chowing down on sandwiches. They're very nice sandwiches. They're like the little tea sandwiches. They're like little triangles and stuff. Mm. No crust. They're just perfect. Somehow they're able to bake their bread with no crust. Yeah, because they're elves. Yo. They can do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah you are uh, relaxing at the fort stones the mayor's office uh, right there are big wooden doors in front of you and it's and there's like bright lettering right above the doors they say mayor's house I push the doors open, not mm. knock. Okay, you push the doors open. Uh, there is a long hallway uh, that goes to a, like a big desk. And there is an elderly elf uh, sitting at the very end of the hallway behind the desk. He- you must be the mayor. Yes, I am the mayor of paradise. This is some... This is a nice place. Yes. I've worked hard to make this place perfect. Are you a wizard? Are you stronger than magic? Strong enough to create this place? Stronger than magic is a very... Very interesting term. It's something my goal is going to be. Tell me, you want to be stronger than magic. Absolutely. Could you create a boulder so large that even you couldn't throw it? If you had the power to do so? I would try. I would try to throw this boulder. And then you would throw the boulder. But then, of course, you didn't make the boulder big enough. What are you saying? Kind of paradoxical, isn't it? Are you saying there's no point to become stronger than magic? That magical would just continuously be stronger than yourself? You're using the boulder analogy. The boulder continues to be bigger as I continuously to throw it. And another boulder gets bigger and another one and another one. Then it is... Is that what you say? Yes. But then you realize that you and the boulder are the same. It's a partnership. It's a very magical, pleasurable partnership. Mm, yes. You can be stronger than the boulder. You lie. But then, of course, then you ha- then you should have had the power to make it bigger. I do have the power. I love these riddles. What is it that you've come here for? To be stronger than magic. It is no trick. It is no game. I no lie. I only speak truth. Either... You are the person that is strong with magic, and I must beat you to become strong in the magic. Or your crystal is stronger than magic, and I must either take part of it, or destroy it, or something in between. Oh. It is, it is no weave of magic, but it is something close. It is something I can take my test towards. Oh, yes, the crystal up above. I spent eons perfecting it. Very interesting, interesting object, that is. And one becomes stronger than it. You can try. But I maybe you should just day. learn to live with it. Become one with it. Become one with magic? Yes. Become I already one. have it to be part of it. 
Become one with the weave. Let it flow. Let it guide you. And he's swaying back and forth as he says this. But why let it take you? Because if you let it take if you let it take you, you then can you he see this <laughs> this this open man sees stones like stop and think, wait. You let the weave take you. Maybe it's like weights. You put the weave on your body and exercise it. You let the weave flow through you and you exercise it. That crystal has weave in it, correct? Yes, it does. How do I get up to that crystal? I seek not to destroy it, but I wish to try something. Oh. I understand that crystal probably holds your whole world together. You spent eons creating it, and I will not be the one to destroy it. I simply want to become stronger than it. Do I have do your that. word I on need... that? I stones swear to it. All right. I will take you to the crystal. I hope I don't break it. Just it just means he'll break it without trying. I know. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> stones, stones is internally sweating and going, Oh God, I hope I don't break it. <laughs> At the same time, if he breaks it, he's ready to fight this guy. Because it's the second part of the test to fight this wizard. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's move on. Let's uh, go to Cassius, the lab. So I will definitely ask for assistance to help. And they need to have the requirement of they see fear as pleasurable like when a person goes to a haunted house for fun and you really i'm going to do human experiments on you really, them you really are becoming scarecrow uh you, yeah. you that's you, exactly it i am going to try and reproduce the psycho gas and try and improve it or whatever i can manage you go into the lab and you are greeted by like a dozen sexy assistants. Assistants. And they assist you willingly to create your psycho gas. Do you succeed? The, the main point of it is to have it in a functional way of being able to make it when I want it, you know? Like, having the recipe, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they they do so. They they <laughs> are hard at work. They, you do hear, I mean, there obviously are, like, a bunch of screens, but it's like, oh my god, that's so great! Oh, oh, I don't like, oh, oh. Did you see me, that? I thinking about <laughs> you, you know what? I'm okay with that. Um. Yeah, we could figure you, out. You work on I'm that. Not it later, yeah, we, we can make that later. Ooh, it actually happens. Shit. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll figure that out later. Juliet and Erickson. It's it's just like I, I just need to make as much progress as possible before Stones blows it all up. No, I don't want to. But it's Stones is an time. idea. It's a race against time. We have it no is time. a race against time for me. Yes, but you don't know either. <laughs> so okay, so Juliet and Erickson are at the oh. vast library. Oh, there are books. There are books upon books. You better read as much as possible before they crumble to ash in your hands. Just to make this really quick, I would ask uh, people who uh, work or serve in the library. Um, <laughs> is there a limit to the knowledge or is there any topic imaginable that has been 
I guess, published or written. <laughs> this is like the Library of Congress meets the Library of Alexandria. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excellent. Um, oh, shit. So, uh, first thing on the list to prioritize looking up um any references to the ancient civilization yes uh, second priority looking for a book of devils <laughs> Ooh. yes if i think of more i will let you know but that is my priority and then i will help erickson with whatever he might be looking for he is looking for anything he's just devouring well literally sp not literally are, are, i was gonna say are you seeing erickson becomes kirby <laughs> no 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 he's if you weren't in the room like vicinity he'd probably be devouring elves <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's my job <clears throat> i mean um let's see Oh, okay. Well, wow, you know, I'm only you so many seventeen. Actually, request ones that find that pleasurable. Oh God. Oh, but I can't. Mm. You could straight up have a buffet. Come to think of it, by the time she thought about this in the infinite knowledge of the book library, she'd think about this. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, uh, Erickson okay. just wanders off, and he's just taking books, and then he's trying to read, and then he goes behind this, like, velvet uh, curtain sort of thing. And he goes, well. Julie? This is weird. I will walk behind the curtain. What is it, Erickson? You see more books, but each of the books has a name on it. Uh, okay. Define name. He, like, he, he takes a name, name of, off the shelf. Oh. Uh, he takes a book off the shelf with a name on it. He, it's like a biography of people. I immediately take the book and put it back on the shelf. These are probably fate weaving. We should not read these. This is weird. This is definitely weird. Oh, uh, this is stones. Let, let, let's get back to this later. Wait. <laughs> Slowly looks over the books. I will look for one that refers to a name of Cassius. Ooh. And you know what? Perhaps you walk. Yes, I will start searching out these books. Okay. This will take you a while. Oh, yes, it will. That's <laughs> just rude. <laughs> hey. Bam. Search for those two first. See how it is. I'm fucking chopped liver over here, man. No, it just means it just means those are my favorites. <laughs> Damn you. Okay. So Damn you to hell. Let's go back. <laughs> Going back again. Yes. To me or to who? Uh to stones. Oh no, shit. No, not so soon. Not so soon. <laughs> well, I mean, unless if Duak <laughs> wants to do anything else. Duak should get fucking high at this point. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's already there. There, there is a hookah lounge. Um, yeah, that's where I go after. Uh, it's another pillow fort with, of course, a bunch um, of hookahs, and each of the hookahs has uh, varying degrees of herbs and herbs. Um, yeah, I'll just, uh, Pop a squat somewhere and start token up. Yeah. Hmm. Now we go back to stones. The mayor leads you up a staircase. And the staircase is vast. It just spirals up and up and up. Until it reaches to an uh, upper point outside. 
you know, face to face with a gigantic yellow orangish crystal. Couple things I'll do first, actually. DM. Yeah. I will take off all my belongings, my weapons, and put them to the side. Okay. Second thing I will do. I will put full string magic on myself. So I'll have a D3 to whatever the fuck I do. Just just in case. Okay. Um and I look to the mayor and say I know I promised I wouldn't destroy this thing. But hopefully what I try will not destroy this thing. But I'm unclear. Please stand by if something happens. He just gives you a big smile. <laughs> I go up to the orb and I put my palms on it. Okay. I'm going to rage and channel into it. I have plus one to my AC. Okay. So you're like rainbow shifting Mario invincibility. <laughs> yep. Um, I always don't do that. I I, I want to say his like his uh, it's like it shifts a different color from his normal. Like it's more of like a darker sheen. I don't know. I don't really like the multicolored thing. Hmm. So I I I just say it probably shifts a different color. But that's yeah. that's really reflective and very distracting. So you touch the crystal. I rage channel into it, and I think in my mind, let the weave take in, and then I will exercise it. Stones, let the weave come to you, and then exercise it like you're throwing a boulder. Have it be a physical interaction. And like he's thinking that and like I I am currently palming it, but like I try to clench this thing. And I'm really focusing in like like I want the weave to take me. But then I want to try to battle it. Okay. Like in a way that's like an ex it's a, that's in an exercise. Okay. So the crystal glow it pulses a little bit like it reacts to you uh doing this i need you to make two saves i'm down a wisdom save and a constitution save that's okay. terrible Okay, so you are filled. I mean, as you go uh, make contact with this uh, gem, you are filled with triumph and you are filled with pleasure. You are filled with happiness, like you have accomplished a goal. Your form doesn't change. Do I recognize it being false sense of success? Would that be an insight? Um, you are currently charmed. Okay. Can I continue and try and like continue that round again? Um, you can you can go ahead and keep on going, but the effects um, will last all day. So I do it all for day. for for the next twenty four hours. You are just filled with accomplishment and pleasure and all that stuff. I feel so accomplished doing this. My physicality has not changed though. He'll keep trying, though. Okay. But but as you just said, nothing will happen within 24 hours, so he'll just be at it for 24 hours. Right, okay. God damn. So everyone, you have 24 hours of this place. Excellent. <laughs> Do we know it's 24 hours, or is it like one of those things where, like, 
we're so swept up in the uh you're kind of swept up in it that you oh, yeah. don't really well there is a day and night cycle but the party really never ends because like at night there's like an adult swim sort of thing there's like a big old spa party there's like uh cartoons for adults that play or something yes cool yeah and there's lots of wine lots of alcohol <laughs> Dwight goes to the reception area watches south park <laughs> you, yeah there's like a bunch of tvs there you're there's south park there's space goes coast to coast or sea lab you you pick up the phrase respect my authority <laughs> uh or whatever whatever i do i want <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just wallowing in it. Like, Dwok has no reason to actually want to leave. Okay. So Dwok, I would I... say like after like a week, maybe he might start questioning it. But like just one day, he I don't think he he would yet. Yeah. Okay. So after like several hours of this, I need you to make the two saves. One wisdom save, one constitution save. Oh my oh. god. Man, this is so great. Oh. You are filled with bliss. I love it here. This is amazing. What was the con save for? Uh, you'll find out later. Okay. But you're okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Cassius. You are perfecting your gas. There are... People are loving it. The, the screams are music to your ears. And now, uh, I need you to make the saves as well. A wisdom and a what, con. Wisdom and a con. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this party. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. So... So, Dr. Cassius, <laughs> you're, having a good time. you're having such a great time. You don't even notice this. But your form is starting to change to a more slender humanoid. Growing ears. Shit. But it's not like a full we're on. Tr- into elves. You're, you're not like full-on transformation. You're kind of like a hybrid at this point. So, you're starting to grow some features. Juliet. I assume I don't notice it. You don't notice it. You're just having so much fun torturing these people, and the people are loving it for it. Juliet. Yes. You're reading. Um, let's see. Actually, let me roll here. You know, this die is rolling so good. <laughs> you find Duwok's book. Okay, I find Duwok's. And inside, you find that you, you turn to the first page and he's born. His book is, isn't that big compared to other people's, but, you know, goblins. Right. Yeah, goblins don't live very long. I, yeah. will, I will scroll through for what I will suspect in areas of the book are going to be his past, but I'm not looking towards future, just the past. 
you go through his past a little bit and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to walk. <laughs> it's okay. I, I get spoilers. <laughs> you do get spoilers. Um, I mean, it may be better just to have the player tell him about it. Yeah, yeah, whatever sure. She asks. Yeah, go ahead. What What should I? Yeah, what should, what, what um, section is he looking at? Probably early childhood. Okay. So you find a section about uh, my parents hmm. uh, and they are meeting with somebody at a monastery and negotiating a price uh, they are selling Duwak as a slave to the monastery ho 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 uh, hmm, that, that's a little tragic. <laughs> uh, if you flip ahead a little bit, you'll read about uh, his duties as a slave, but also his training that he goes through. Uh, and it all depends how much you want to read, uh, how much I can reveal to you. Essentially, I would want to gather up bits of the past to figure out, essentially, uh, your form of, like, your form of uh, personal purpose, you know, personal goals. Exactly. Uh, okay. Or, in this case, why you wouldn't want to come back anyways. <laughs> um, Whatever bits of the past that would be. So, you can, you, you, just, like, skimming through it, like, you'll see that the walk was not treated very well by anybody at the monastery. Oh, yeah. um, and it's not just because he was a slave. It's also because uh, he's he was uh, one of the only standard goblins at the monastery, but also the smallest uh, of any of the uh, pe people at the monastery. And... Uh, he was considered to be the low, the lowliest, but uh, there was a day where Duwak was able to uh, basically sneak up on his master and uh, stab him in the back. His master, who you, whose name. Um, Actually, Juliet didn't hear it, but... Uh, I was name... asleep, I did not get to hear it. Yeah. But it's in the book. Right, you'll, you'll read the name is... Uh, what was it again? It was... Oh, shoot. Uh, I did write it down. Is it... Ozog. Ozog, that's it. O-Z-O-G. Ozog. Uh, assuming his master to be dead, Duwak escapes, or he leaves the monastery... Uh, and uh, heads mm. west. Um, something you probably picked up through reading is that technically, if a slave kills his master, he does become free under the rules of the, the monastery. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Ah. Well. That gives me an answer, and I also know... Well, actually, no. I don't know anything, except I would have this to hang over. Yeah, okay. Close up that book. That was actually quite an interesting read. Put Duoc's book up, and we'll continue searching for others. Now you make your saves. Yep. So was it Wisdom and Con? Yeah, Wisdom and Con. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. You feel like you. There's no change physically. There's no change mentally. Now, my question see how... is: Do I do I feel? You feel like Juliet. Ah. Okay, you sorry. are still. Yep. You. Let's see yeah. 
how uh let's see how Ericsson does. Ah. Nice, Ericsson. Alright. Natural twenty. Yo! Oh, yo. He is well he's not charmed, but he's still loving this area. And that is how you guys spend the night. With stones interfacing with a big ass stone. <laughs> Cassius experimenting. Duak fornicating. There are certain atrocities in human history, and he's stepping into those realms. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are. It's, it's bad. And oh, of course, God. and of course, we have Juliet and Erickson uncovering the truth. Uncovering the truth, and that's where we're going to end tonight. Oh damn! Oh. Damn, man, where we. All it takes is just running through arches, and then we get weird ass shit, guys. This is sick. It is. Uh, I was gonna make a really dumb joke when we first got to the arches, but I, I couldn't find a, a moment to do it. But uh, I heard that these were the arches of uh, Sir McDonald. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and Yeah, cut. I didn't say it was a good joke. I'm gonna cut the stream right here.